tactics. And this ain't nothing that just happening on the internet. This is stuff that goes on forever if you're a broadcaster, period. But how they call themselves real, but they do storylines. Who could take them serious because drama sell. Look, 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 y'all. Remember, y'all looking at drama every day on TV. Y'all looking at movies that ain't real. They just coming and they trying to reenact that shit in real life. And that's just that crazy generation that does that. Robert don't have any pull. Pretty TT had a man to tell her Robert bet not mention her name. Child, I ain't, I ain't getting into that. Child, uh, BLC and that bullshit. That ain't, they ain't got nothing to do with me. I mean, Yeah, it's the people that don't know how to dif dif differentiate the two. Exactly. And that's what happened. A lot of y'all, a lot of people get involved in forgetting that it's entertainment. And I know, that, and you know what is sad is that a lot of the broadcasters don't have morals. And they think because it's the internet that that shit ain't real. Like karma ain't going to get you. But to, when you look at them, the same way they move on you, the same way they move in real life, or they don't really move like that in real life and they ain't got no friends because they be scared. Yeah, I don't know what. Mama, what you cooking? Hello? Hi, yes. I just wanted to say, um, I watched the interview and I thought it was pretty good. Like, I thought Ed did good, but I also thought that they got paid. Like, I really thought that they paid them to do it or, you know, it was an agreement. And I'm like, well, why would y'all do an interview and not pay them when y'all could have just gave them a PK? Okay. She think that she think the interview went well. Messy drama on live stream replaced TV because they fight in real life. So, so look at look at look, look look here look at me coming in here worrying about my daughter. So mama don't go to school no more. Mama is a high school dropout. We decided that we're going to stay, let her stay home. And instead of going to school every day, that I'm going to let her stay home and I'm going to teach her how to work the internet so she can sit on her ass and, and, and make money and do beans for the rest of her life. Okay? Now, Mama, get your ass in here. Because I told you, we're going to have to start working to get these goddamn beans. Your fucking daddy gone. And we need to make money so I can pay gas in that toll to get you over there at school. So the days that you home, that you don't go to school, we need to make sure you in here and, we, and you working on this internet with me. Are we clear? Now, is that what you want to do? So since you want to get in my business, let me tell you what really happened. So this morning when I got up to take, ooh, to take my daughter to school, because, you know, yeah, last week she was sick, you know, and she had sickle cell. But this week we was ready to go to school. I was ready to get out there to go walking. And this, that, and the other. And guess what happened? Get in the goddamn car and it don't, it, it won't crank up. Oh my God. The car won't crank up. I live way like here in West Bond, I ain't got nobody to come take my mom to school. I could be freaking out because it's the first time I got to deal with this kind of shit since I'm going through a divorce. My husband ain't here no more. Oh, my God. Do I really feel like dealing with this bullshit this morning? And Lord have mercy. Let's not even think about the fact that here, something is wrong with this goddamn car. I don't know what. And, you know, I had all this shit going on. That's what, you know, kind of went on today. So, no, my mom didn't go to school. My car wasn't working. Um, But, yeah, I did get AAA to come. They fixed it. I'm good. I'm having a good time. I could have had the worst day ever. My daughter home. So, guess what? My battery ended up just needed charging. He tightened some shit up, and it didn't cost me shit. Okay? My daughter did miss a day for school, but thank you, Jesus. Guess what? 
everything online so it ain't like it used to be. So she got that computer. She can log right on that computer, take her test, do her homework, and it's just like she ain't missed a day. So God is good. Worry about what your kids doing because we got this shit over here. We got it. And mama, did your teacher ever text you back? Huh? Did your teacher email you back? Oh, okay, but you did email her, right? Okay, and we emailed the teacher that she had a test with today to make sure she knew what was going on. So we good. You didn't even know I handled all that shit this morning, did you? And I've been sitting on this bitch cutting up. Now, can we get on with what we're doing? 